Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Hugo Gagioni. I'm the CTO, uh, VP of Technology for the Sony Professional Solutions Group. And I wanted to talk to you a little bit about our new compression system, XABC. XABC is a brand name that Sony uses for our unique implementation of a, a, an international standard called the H.264 for video compression. But until recently, no one uh, actually pushed the algorithm to the maximum. Then Sony decided to invest and we develop a chip that uses all of the tricks in the book of H.264. And this compression system, uh, we decided to, to implement it because we are facing applications that are actually going beyond the capabilities of high definition. Then is uh, what we call beyond HD. The, and the existing codecs or compression and decompression technologies uh, fell short of the uh, requirements that we, this, these applications are forcing us to do. Then uh, as we face a high frame rate applications and 4 to 2, 10 bits, wider color gamut, extended dynamic range, uh, we needed to find a new compression algorithm that uh, could be used in, in handheld cameras, uh, studio decks, the implementation of a single chip was very important and this chip was also very low power consumption because then we can put the chip in handy camcorders, not only professional but also consumer camcorders. And XABC exists uh, either yes, intra-frame compression or inter-frame compression, we call it long gop, long group of pictures. And the long gop allows you to have a lower data rate while maintaining the same picture quality as if you had intra-frame compression only. In professional applications, uh, specifically in, in the F5 and the F55 uh, cinematographic camera, we started using XABC in its in intra-frame mode of operation. Um, for example, a 4K signal at 60 frames per second, uh, 4 to 2, 10 bits, is around 600 megabits per second. Uh, at this NAV, we are also introducing a, a long gop or interframe version for 4K. And this long gop introduces a factor of uh, efficiency of about 4 to 1, meaning my 600 megabits can now be, become 150 megabits per second extending the, the duration of recording by a factor of four. And that's one of the great uh, uses of XABC. Now, not only for 4K, but also in conventional uh, HD broadcasting. Uh, one application that was uh, um, uh, repeatedly, many countries and users were asking Sony to implement was 1080-50p and 1080-60p. Until recently, the only data rates that we could use in the 1080-60p or 1080-50p was 200 megabits per second using intra-frame compression, which is, is heavy, is, is high data rate for, uh, for broadcasting. And people really like the efficiency of our MPEG compression that we have in the family of XDCAM, 50 megabits, 35 megabits per second. Now, with XABC, I can have a 1080 signal, 60 progressive, 4 to 2, 10 bits at 50 megabits per second. Same file size that we used to have with MPEG, but now a much higher picture quality. That's another advantage of XABC. In the future, when we begin implementing the wider color gamut of 4K, XABC will be ready also to support um, the, the future color gamut of uh, ultra high definition. If you desire to have more information on XABC technologies or any other type of production technology, please go to sony.com slash professional and you will find a number of tutorials and white papers that will describe uh, this information in much more detail.